Hi guys, so I was asked to do a everyday smoky eye um, that would be wearable for the daytime and you would still see kind of that smoky eye effect. Um, so that's what I've done. I've done on one eye already um, and I've already applied my foundation and powder. I've done a little bit of contouring, not too much, um, depending on if you're wearing this and depending on what your job is. If it isn't every day, I didn't want to go too heavy on the contour. But the eyeshadow colours that I used are from the In The Buff palette from W7 and you've seen me use this before. And um, It's one of my favourites. Um, the only original Urban Decay um, before I say that, sorry, this is uh, a dupe for the Urban Decay 2 palette. Um, the only original one I have is the Naked palette and I keep that in my kit um, because it's really popular. Um, but also I think W7 is becoming popular in itself um, just in terms of the amount of dupes it does have and it's very affordable. So this is what I use, the W7 In The Buff palette and they do have the colours on the back. Um, and they all have their own little names as well, like Buff and Camel, very similar to Urban Decay. So this is what I came up with. It is very wearable for during the day and as well if you aren't allowed to go too heavy in work in terms of makeup up this is a really good um look for you a little bit of liner a little bit of mascara um and i've gone usually i've kind of done a mid-tone almost just here using one of the browns and i will show you and name it for you when we go through the other eye and um, the other things that i've done is just put my rcma contour and highlighting um then that that's the vk11 um kit that i showed you before so i have used that um, and then i've powdered as well so that's and then this eye and that's about it so we're going to do this eye i have kind of um shaped my eyebrows a little um, and put on some brow powder but nothing that wouldn't look too unnatural in line with my own natural hair color so let's get started on this eye and the first thing that i used was um actually before we go into the eyeshadows i used my jordana sorry guys my jordana um, this is the eye primer in 01, it's an eyeshadow base, so that's what I used and it's already been applied. Um, and then I went in with this colour from In The Buff, and that is called Sand. This is called Buff and this is called Sand, and the one in the middle is Camel. Um, so I went in with, with Sand and I applied that all to my lower lid, so we're going to do that now. The brush that I'm using is a no-name brush from my QC Makeup Academy brushes. So we're going to take some of that product now onto our brush and I'll show you what it looks like on the brush as well. So that's it on the brush, nice bright colour. And we are just going to dot that, almost kind of brushing it on the other eye. I'm like placing it instead of swiping so that um, more product actually gets onto my skin. We're just going to go back in again. I've actually ordered for the first time some Sigma brushes only because um, I like brushes and I've come now that I've used them so much on other people as well as myself um, I like a domed brush and I find that Sigma seem to be the only there are some Sigma dupes out there um, but I wanted to kind of um, really get some quality brushes and um, so I like a domed brush because I think you can get more control with your colour um, on this particularly with eyeshadow and um, placing the eyeshadow in certain places and making sure that everything's blended in really well um, a domed brush is much better for that so um, I will let you guys know what I think when I do get them I'll do a review on them and I might do an unboxing so yes I've just put that colour now all over this eye you can see and then what I did is I went in with this colour. I will show you the name as well. This is again, we're back in with the Buff in the Buff palette. And this is Storm, right here. Yes, this is Storm. Yes. So what I did was I took my flat brush like this and just taking some of that Storm colour on the top of the brush. What we're going to do, just tapping some excess off, is looking directly into the mirror. We are going to, in a circular motion, very light handed, just make a, make um, go in a circular motion, like a windshield wiper motion.
very light and actually going in lighter as we go move in further to the centre. And then I'm going to use another brush and what I'm going to do is blend that out now so it doesn't look so harsh. So once I've done that, I'm going to get my blending brush now. And all we're going to do is blend that. We're not going to move it anywhere. We want it to stay where it is. We want it to look more natural like this one. If I wanted to move it down, I would start to kind of blend in circular motions downwards. If I wanted to move it higher up towards my arch, I would go higher. But as I want to just kind of blend it gently, we're going to kind of blend away until we get the consistency and the colour that we want. And I have found, in general, um, just from you having the Urban, have had, having had the Urban Decay palette for such a long time and then getting, uh, discovering um, the W7, um, that they are just the same in terms of colour payoff. They're absolutely amazing. They stay on all day. Um, and they're not, as some of them look quite shimmery in the actual container, but actually on your brush and on your skin, they come out really lovely. So even if you do bring this in a kit, for example, if you're starting out like in a, as a makeup artist um, and somebody sees it, they do tend to become curious because it does have very similar packaging to Urban Decay and they say, oh, what is that? And then because my naked palette is there, I say, this is like Urban Decay, however, it's a different brand. And so it gets people aware um, and then people don't feel so uncomfortable if it's not like, you know, some people want to see high-end products, but they do become a little bit more curious when they see them and they see obviously you wear them as well. So I've just done that now just to match this eye. Then what I did is I went in with this colour which is called Buff and I just went under my brows with that. Again I've already done my, my brows, I've already um, f um filled them in so what we're going to do is go in now with that sand, is that Buff? It is Buff, sorry guys. Go in with the Buff colour now really get that onto our brush and what we're going to do is just almost place the colour under the eye and what you're doing is you're just distinguishing from all the different colours that we've put on our eye so they all blend naturally and they all look you can't tell where one end and the other one begins basically and that's the the key to it really there we go now what we're going to do is go again in now, before we do our liner, with that other um, bright colour here, which is called um, sand. And we're going to go again in now into the lid with that. And then what we'll do after that is use our liner. You can use gel liner, liquid liner. I'm just, for this tutorial in particular, I use just my coal pencil. Um, and I will show you, that's from Rimmel. I can show you that. And then we're just going to... Again, placing that product on as we go along. So now you can see the variation of colour quite easily. You can see where it, you can actually see where it ends and begins, but that's what we want. We don't want to see that, but we do want to see a nice blend, and that's what we have. So that is the In the Buff palette, and again, I will just show you the colours quickly before we do the liner. I'm really pleased with them so far, and I do think I get a lot of use out of them as well, not just for me personally, but they are quite popular, again, when I go to somebody's house and they haven't seen W7 before. Because the packaging is quite attractive, they do ask about it as well, so it's a good kind of um, product to kind of share your knowledge about as well. So now what we're going to do is I'm just using my Rimmel Coal, um, it's called Specialize, um, just in, it's called Black Magic 161, and that's what it looks like. And I'm just going to line my eye. Start off very light handedly and then if you do want to go a little bit heavier you have the control to do that. At least that way you're not having to remove anything if you started off heavier. And as it is a daytime appropriate kind of smoky eye um, and it did say, the request did say keep that in daytime in mind. That's why I kind of did a little bit lighter on the liner. Um, but obviously if you choose and you want to do the thick, the gel liner, the liquid liner, false lashes, absolutely um, go ahead. So I've just matched it to this eye here. So they both have the liner on. And what I use for um, mascara and what I'm loving at the moment is the Rimmel Scandal, um, sorry, Sexy Curves and Scandalized. But this is the Sexy Curves. Um, and I like the shape of the brush. It's very uh, good for getting those inner corner lashes. And I'll just show you the shape of the brush so you can see what I mean. It has kind of like a dome effect. So we're just going to look in the mirror over here. So if you see me look this way, I'm going to put on the mascara. If 
it just catches those inner lashes there. You can see there on the corner. That's sometimes a flat or it's very straight, rigid mascara brush just can't do. And I do find that even on the disposables, that um, when I'm using them on other people, it's it does it's tricky to try and get those inner corners just right so that um, it this, the kind of false lash effect is complete. So there you can see I've just done one one coat already, and we're just going to do the bottom as well. I find if I want to go in again, I let this dry and then I go again. I don't try to do it while it's still wet. So what we're going to do, but for now I think because I just did one um, coat on this um, eye, I will leave it like that. So that is both eyes done. Um, what we're going to do now is go in with some lipstick and some blusher. And um, the lipstick that I chose was the Max um, Candy Yum Yum. Just because I think even though it's winter, even though you know a lot of browns are in and a lot of... Um, like another um, favourite of mine is um, the Hue by MAC, which I'm loving at the minute. But I think that just to get that kind of bright eyed, um, you have the bright eyes and the darkness in your eye. Why not kind of, you know, brighten up your face with some um, pink? And what better pink than the Candy Yum Yum from MAC? So as it's my own, I'm going to use it. But if it was a client, I would obviously use my, my brush and we would apply it that way. So that's what it looks like. I think it's a gorgeous colour. It really is. And it brightens up your whole face. It just makes you look fresher, I think. More awake, more alive. Um, and that's what you want. So that's from MAC. And that's Candy Yum Yum. So we're just going to apply that now. What you could do to complement this is just have your normal um, pink um, lip liner. And then just go ahead with that. I put some um, Vaseline on my lips already and I do advise that. For example, if you start off with your foundation, um, put on some Vaseline first and then if this is the last or the second last thing you do, um, at least by the time you've come to your lips, you have very moisturised lips and the colour actually spreads more evenly and more easily. See, it just brightens up my face because I am quite pale anyway, so if I was to put a really dark... Um, it would look nice, but I think it would kind of drown out some of the colour as well. So just getting that colour back in. And again, you can keep that in your bag. It's nice and compact and it's a really nice packaging as well. That's the MAC Candy Yum Yum. So what we're going to do now is, just lastly, we're just going to go in with some blush. Um, I have kind of lightly contoured. Again, you can go heavier if you need to. Um, however, I felt that that was enough for me. Um, or if you don't want to um, blush or you just want to have that contour effect, you still can. But however, I will use blush. And um, the blush that I'm going to use is from my um, BH Cosmetics palette. And I will just show you what it looks like. Just to inform you as well about um, the QC Makeup Academy update. Um, I have just submitted Unit B which means that um, I think I will give you an update when I get my grade back. So when I got my grade back from Unit A, I did a whole video on that. Um, and what I was going to do for um, Unit B is the same thing in Unit C and Unit D. So that was just to let you guys know um, about that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you my sleek palette. So this is the blush palette from Sleek. It's also a contour palette, but I've already contoured already. Um, but this is what it looks like. Um, you can get a medium and you can get a dark. I just got mine in the light. Um, they're very inexpensive though. Sorry, the mirror is very glary. They are quite inexpensive. Um, so you could get a medium. If you are starting your beginner makeup artistry kit, um, they are quite good like to get the, the, tree, the three so that you have the light, the medium and the dark for everybody's skin tone. So this is the blush I'm going to use. And it does come off really, really nicely and it does complement this lipstick really well as well. So we're just going to take our blusher brush and take some of that on our blush. And this brush is actually from QC Makeup Academy. And actually all of their brushes have that kind of shape to them where there's, it's thin at the start and it fans out which means it's very good for precision and it's very good for controlling where you're putting the colour. A lot of the brushes um, fan out straight away and the minute you put on the, the colour it actually just goes in one circular motion onto the skin and you end up 
blending away until you get the right consistency. Whereas if you have a very specific shape to the brush, it actually glides on and it's very precise. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the thinner part here, smile so our, the apples of our cheeks are, are brought forward, and we're just going to glide that up the cheek, the apples of the cheeks. Like that. And again, we're not interfering with any contouring at all. And you can see it just gives a nice kind of rose, English rose kind of um, look to it. It doesn't actually take over the pink lipstick either, which is what I really wanted. I didn't want the two to have the same colour intensity because then it would just take away from the effect of the makeup. So we're just going to do the other. And that's what the brush looks like, just so you can see. If you guys want an in-depth review on the QC brushes, let me know. But as I haven't gotten a request... I didn't want to um, go ahead and do that, and I got on with the other requests. So we're just going to smile to bring the apples of the cheeks forward again, and again using the smallest part of the brush here. You can see the formation there. We are just going to bring that up the, the cheek. And you can see it's a very light hand, however it is spreading that colour beautifully. And that's that's the completed everyday smoky eye. Um, using the in the buff from W7 the and the um or CMA foundation kit just to let you know this is what it looks like i have done an in-depth review on it um so you can have a look at that it's in my makeup artistry kit um and i have done a demo as well on the contour and highlight what i do um, and, and i can link those below as well and um, this was my um response just to the video about re being requested to do a everyday smoky eye i hope you enjoyed it if you did please do subscribe and let me know what you would like to see in the future hope you all got you guys all have a really good week and thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon